What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Matt, this is Hidden Light, and today we're gonna go through the FAQs, the frequently asked questions that we get about processing film. Let's just jump right in. Yes, we process film. Yes, we sell film. Um, let's just go through all the questions. I've got a little list here on my phone and let's just talk about them. Um, how long does it take? Right now, we process film once a week on Tuesdays starting at 9 a.m. If your film shows up Monday afternoon, right? We process the film starting Tuesday at 9 a.m. Then we scan it Wednesday. We do all the processing. We do all the exporting, all the inversions. The scans go to your email inbox no later than the end of the day Thursday. So if you bring it in Monday, it's four days, right? If you bring it in Tuesday at noon, you won't get your scans back until the following Thursday, which is like nine days. But that's the longest it could take, right? It's a week plus the extra couple of days of processing. So that's for now. If we manage to get more film coming through the lab, then we'll have to do more days of processing and our turnaround time will get shorter, not longer. We'll do more film runs, which means anyway. So yes, yeah, send us your film and it will go from nine days as a maximum to less than that, which would be cool. I'd love that. You might like that, right? Uh, it's not a one hour photo thing anymore and that's okay, you know? Delayed gratification is part of the process of shooting film and you like it or you should. Um, let's see, do I get my negatives back? Yes. Not only do you get your negatives back, you <coughs> get your negatives back properly sleeved in a proper print file, binder friendly holder that you can write all your little notes on and then put this in your binder and forget about it for the next 20 years. Uh, how big are the scans? We have two options of scans right now. Option one, which is our standard high resolution scan, is a 4400 pixel scan on the long edge. It's a 16 megapixel file. We default to sending them as JPEGs because some people don't care about anything past the JPEG they can put on Instagram. But if you'd like, we can give you TIFFs of the same file for no extra charge. Just send us a little, write us a little love note when you're placing your order uh, and say, can I get TIFF scans, please? We're happy to do it. We also, for an additional $5 a roll, have ridiculous 61 megapixel scans. Uh, we do those on a Sony a7R4. They're incredible. Like, honest to goodness, that's what I do all my scans with, and they're gorgeous. If you'd like that, just select the extra $5 option for super high resolution scans, or tell us you'd like the super high res scans from the Sony, and we'll make that happen for you. Um, how do you get your film to me? You put it in the mail, or give it to FedEx, or give it to UPS, or whoever. You can walk it down here, you can Whatever. I honestly, when I, if I was you, I would just stick it in like a cheapy USPS little like padded envelope and send it off for the cheapest amount possible. Uh, it'll still get to us. They don't often lose film. In fact, I've never heard of USPS losing a roll of one of our customers' film going either direction. When we ship you your negatives back, we'll also send it USPS. So it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Um, you don't have to like put it in a psycho box. You don't have to do like signature required. Just stick it in the mail. It'll be fine. It'll get to us. Uh, we don't currently have a system to let you know that your film is here. You'll find out when your, when your scans come through um, on a Thursday. And then you'll know that your film was processed. And yeah. Uh, let's see. What kind of films do you process? We process black and white, E6, and C41 all here in-house in our Jobo rotary processors. We do not process Kodachrome, which is what, K16. We don't process black and white reversal or black and white slide. We don't process ECN2 currently. That's a process with the Remjet and stuff. We, <sighs> we don't do that. We know people who do all of these things, so if you need a recommendation, just let us know. We're happy to let you know who to go talk to. Uh, let's see. We don't process some strange formats as well. So we don't process APS, 110, 
116, 126, or old disc film. These are essentially dead film formats, although I'm sure many of you shoot them and now you're all mad at me about it, so that's fine. You can hate me in the comments below. Um, but we process 35, 120, 220, and every sheet film size that has been made. So if you want any of that process, you just let us know. We're happy to take care of it. Let's see. Do you offer prints? So uh, the machines that do the automatic 4x6 prints, we don't have those. We're a much smaller lab than that. So we do not offer 4x6 prints. What I do recommend you do is take the scans you get from us, edit them. There's a video about that. Go check that out. Edit them to your liking and then take them to some online service or another local lab who might be interested in making some 4x6 prints for you. Yeah, I use like, you know, Shutterfly. It's great. It's fine. It's like Walgreens. No big deal. Uh, they're like 13 cents a frame or something, which is reasonably inexpensive. It costs me more than that to make 4x6 inkjets on the printers that we do have. So I'd have to charge you like $50 a roll to make 4x6s on the inkjets we have. And that would be ludicrous and no one wants to do that. I don't want to do it and you don't want me to do that. So we're just going to not do that. Um, yeah, those are the frequently asked questions. If you have questions that I didn't answer in this video, put them in the comments below and we'll answer them or just stop by or email us. We're happy to answer any questions you might have about film processing here at Hidden Light. See ya.